A very good evening to you. Thank you for staying with Prime Edition. My name is Betty Kiptum. Let's get into the business news. Now, Kenya is wooing Ugandan traders to use the standard gauge railway as the country seeks to stamp its authority as the regional logistics hub. The rail operator says the completion of the SGR and the 24-kilometer meter gauge line has increased rail transport due to the enhanced seamless transportation of cargo. Uganda accounts for 83.2% of transit cargo through the port of Mombasa, which is facing intense competition from the port of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Addressing the Ugandan Finance, Planning and Economic Development Parliamentary Committee, which is in the country on a fact-finding mission on rail operations, Kenya Railways Managing Director Philip Mainga has said cargo transport has continued to record increased activities boosted by the attractive rates of 87,000 shillings per 20-foot container from Mombasa to Malaba or Kisumu for honor transport to Uganda. From this place every day, we are moving not less than two trains, two to four trains per day across the Malaba and my team is here. The, the better part of it is coming. Because in the next one week or two, we are not we are not going to mount the country in this place, and that will make sure that the transferring system between MGR to SGR and SGR to MGR will now be taking very short time because we have a, an automated system. The project comes at a time when the old meter gauge railway line and the link to the SGR have been revamped in order to cut the clearing tariffs and reduce delays to attract traders from other neighboring countries. Kenya Railways Managing Director Mr. Philip Mainga says since the completion of the link line, the rail operator has transported over 40,000 tons of both containerized and conventional cargo through NICD. Logistically, we are moving almost two trains from Mombasa to this place daily and another two to three trains to upwards, depending on the availability of cargo from Mombasa. Given them the best incentive in terms of the tariff, 17 US dollars from Mombasa, from Nairobi to Mombasa. The railway agency says it aims to offer end-to-end -end rail delivery to the Ugandan ports through to Malaba. The Ugandan government is also in the process of revamping its railway network to improve connectivity as Uganda accounts for 83.2% of transit cargo through the port of Mombasa. South Sudan takes up 9.9%, while DR Congo, Tanzania and Rwanda account for 7.2%, 3.2% and 2.4% respectively. Ndotamo Kami for Prime Edition.